Morning everyone, so we are in Maranello, as you know. First of all, I have to apologize for missing a day of videos. Basically what happened is my computer charger got left at a hotel and there was bad signal here so I couldn't upload the video. So long story short, I had to not upload a video on a day where I didn't really do anything. So you didn't miss much. But today we are in Maranello and we are leaving for Pagani. Um, so these two have packed up all the cars, well these three. Um, heading towards Pagani factory, which I've been to a few times now, but is always a great place to go to. And then we are driving up the road Paso de la Raticosa all the way to Monaco. And I'm going home finally after six months of traveling. So I'm really, really excited. Um, I think we should get on the road and head over to the Pagani factory. We just started the cars up. I did miss it, but I think we just woke the whole hotel up. We're getting the radios out of the Ferrari. And we are going. By the way, check it out. This is where we put our jackets behind the bucket seats. It's a cool little storage area. Um, and yeah. Oh, there we go, he's back. This is a pretty fun way to get to your location. Um, we, we are, we've just found these cool little roads on our way to Pagani. So we figured, why not have some fun? Some early morning fun. Um, chasing a duke. Chasing a duke, yes, with the two others behind us. So we have to, we, we sort of like accelerate, go for it for a bit, and then we break, wait for the within others. Reason. Within reason. Within reason, and then uh, they catch us up, and then we have a little more fun again. So we're only about five minutes away now. And then we're at Pagani. We're here at Pagani. Finally, that was a fun drive. So we've arrived at Pagani. We got the Ferrari and the McLaren parked outside. Sexy looking Huario right there. And the very good looking um, 918, which would make a good addition to Blue Crew. But let's head on inside and see what they got. Said discovering the t-shirt. You want a t-shirt? Zonda. I think it's an S. Just chilling. One of them. It's so nice in here. But we're gonna head to the new factory. <laughs> I wanna show you the back of this bad boy. So I just realized I didn't, and I was whispering. Now I can talk. It's pretty sexy. It has the carbon there. Silver. Very good looking. Okay, tour's here. I'm gonna have to cut the video. And we're gonna head to the new factory. But right now, I am literally on the Huaria and some Zonda's production line. Um, but I can't show you anything because they're customer cars and I don't have permission to show you. So I'm filming with a white wall behind me, but right now I'm looking at some pretty special and very exciting cars. So that's pretty cool. We're in the new facility. We got a tour of the new facility here. And let me just tell you that the new factory is going to be absolutely insane. Um, they have a museum area which will be open to the public, a uh, new production line. They have everything from like a cool little suite for people, customers or dealers to stay at. The gym, everything is amazing. Even Harasha designed the toilet specifically um, himself. It's, it's incredible. So, yeah, um, I wish I could show you more, but sadly I can't. But I'll keep filming as much as I can and when I can. So I can show you this car, and fun fact about this car, it's older than I am. Um, this car is nearly 20 years old, and it's called Nonno. Tim's coming past, so I'm going to have to be quiet. Um, anyways, yes, it's Nonno and it's their test car that they used to test for the Zonda S, the Zonda F, and all the other cars. It has over a million kilometers on it. Uh, it was in 760 spec, but you can just tell that this thing is, doesn't look 20 years old. And uh, Tim actually went out on this and had a crazy ride in it once. And it's absolutely mental to think that this car is nearly 20. And I've seen it in so many things, it still has the original interior on it. That makes 
some really nice pops. <laughs> Look at these two. They're happy bunnies now. <laughs> Yay! Right, we are heading out. Um, don't know why I said it like that, but we're about to hit the road. Jack, haha, <laughs> lols. And we are going towards Monaco. So we're taking Paso de la Reticosa, an amazing road. Obviously with these two cars and Kyle in the BMW 640D. Um, we've got to stop off for lunch first, but then we're going to hit the road. Oh, lovely, lovely noise. Are you going to start her up? We like. That's one we like. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Timing. Sexy. I can't get in though because of the bloody bush. I need to wait until Tim moves. But yes, lunch, beautiful Italian little lunch, and then hit the road. Well, we got stopped by the police, nothing too dramatic to report though. They basically just stopped us because this car attracts a lot of attention, doesn't it? Yeah, just a document check. I was a little bit worried it might have been for something more adventurous, but no, it was just checking uh, registration, we insurance, being too bad, yeah. driving license, the usual kind of stuff. They checked everything even for the Ferrari as well, didn't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. But it was fine, no problem, I think they wanted to look at the car, but I've just noticed your jumper matches the car. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, that's, down there. that's pretty cool. It's really blue all around. That <laughs> thug life right there. Um, we're now in a little Italian town, and Kyle and his wife are really enjoying seeing um, sort of the Italian countryside. The roads here are amazing, but there's quite a lot of traffic, so we're working our ways through that. Um, it's about how much further are we driving to lunch, do you reckon? To lunch? Oh, we're quite near where we'll stop for lunch, I reckon. Okay, good. Try and find somewhere prettier than this, though. Yeah, we need to find a nice nice place sort of in the mountains and the hills or whatever but uh, yeah we've got in some good pops from this car as well and we're now gonna head up back into the hills and hit the roads just driving along and found uh, the road on the sat nav. We just saw all these twisties and we were like, let's go up that. Um, so, well actually we went down it and now we're about to go back up it. So Kyle's going up with Tim for a little while and then uh, he's gonna come back down and uh, we will film going back up it. We stopped for lunch. Um, the lads are here just chilling while we're waiting for the Ferrari to join us because they got stuck behind a truck. Um, really nice roads here, it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, so radio is off to save battery and lunch we go. Lunch didn't go so well. Um, the, the restaurant we first stopped at was closed and pretty much everywhere stopped serving around 2 and it's 23 minutes past 2. So that's not great. We just stopped at another one which was also closed. So now we're in the hills. We've left all the villages and we're basically stopping at every restaurant we, we've passed to see if they're open. Um, not ideal. But at least we've got these cool views around us. But now all we want is food. We've just come across this view. That is unreal. That's crazy. Such a cool road. Any restaurants here? Oh, restaurant, restaurant. Outside. There are tablecloths outside. Yes, but there's leaves on the tablecloths. Okay, I'll get out and check it out. Let's try this. Please be open. Damn it! Entrance to the bar. This is literally someone's house. It's open! It's open! People's celebration! They've literally just opened it back up for us. Some yeah. woman. So literally a woman just came, she was like, what do you want? I was like, eat six people? She was like, yeah, we can do that. So we've made it. Whew. What a road though. What a road. We're eating we're in someone's house. Right. Literally in someone's house. Check this out. Um, the only people here, obviously, but they've just opened it all up. I saw the woman putting her like cooking apron back on. It was quite funny. <coughs> but amazing view. 
And now we're probably gonna have a nice little bit of pizza and pasta. So lunch over, and as I'm sure you'll be able to tell by me getting a bit thrown around, we've now joined Paso de la Raticosa, the road we've come here for. <laughs> the grip, oh, the pop. This is the most unbelievable road, so. <laughs> Thank God for buckets. I'm gonna spin the camera and show you what I'm seeing right now. stuck behind a tractor. This road is so unbelievable that I need to film it more. to a petrol stop we were worried we wouldn't because 98 or 100 fuel um, octane fuel they don't have very often here so we were running really low but anyways um, we're now filling the car up to go to the toilet quickly Kyle's got his cameras all set up in the front there it's been an amazing drive down this car is just so flipping cool um, but yeah now fill up and then keep going towards Monaco the basics Mentos water M&Ms ready to go been doing two, and today we've been driving maybe three and a half hours already in the buckets non-stop. It's not that bad actually, like I thought it would be a lot more uncomfortable, but the buckets aren't that uncomfortable. And um, I think I might go chat to Kyle in a bit and see what he thought about that drive, because from America, these roads are completely just out of the world for him. He was like, how do you guys drive on these roads? So I'll try and talk to him now. I found Kyle now. Hey. Um, tell us, what did you think about those roads? Because you're probably not too used to this sort of stuff. I've never driven you? anything like that. It's that crazy, was isn't it? Awesome. This drive. guy's so here. It was hey. worth this distraction. <laughs> Basically, I forced everyone to do this diversion to come and drive the Paso de la Raticosa because I drove it. I've driven it twice before. Yeah. And it's awesome. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I mean, I, I obviously wasn't in a McLaren, but I'm glad I wasn't in like a Ford car or something. Yeah. You were doing really, <laughs> really, really well. Yeah. 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 Every time we'd be like, Kyle's going to be miles behind, turn around, and you're right there. And we're like, how did he do that? Well, I was telling Crystal, I was like, imagine we had to drive this the whole time on Gumball, just yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, but on yeah. main roads, not on those kind of twisty. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I much prefer that because the speed limit on that road is fast enough that you never, you're not going crazy too, fast. Too, I can't too enjoy fast. it how fast the speed limit was. You're not, you can't drive the speed limit. Yeah. No. It's just a blanket national. Yeah. Uh, but 90 kilometers yeah. an hour on that road. Yeah, <laughs> you, you need to be time. going for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty fun. Anyways, now we're going to hit the road towards Monaco, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. M&M's? I'm good. No? <laughs> just for me. <laughs> Check this bridge out. Lil Archway, Lil Archway, Lil Archway, and then boom! Massive archway. That is a very steep bridge. We're back on the road now towards Monaco. Can you drive over it? Can you drive over it? No. <laughs> that is so cool though. Um, Satnav says three hours, 48 minutes, 221 miles to Monaco. And here we go. We're going to be on the motorway for most of it. And we're going to hit the tunnels. But uh, yeah, all is well. I'm, I was saying earlier in the vlog, Tim, how surprised I am and how comfortable we are in here. Like we've been oh, driving a lot today, and I'm and not hard. Comfortable. And hard. And we've been throwing around corners. Yeah, yeah. But these buckets are pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, all is good in the hood, people. Well, this is pretty cool. Also, we're on a motorway going into onward coming traffic, not because we're crazy rebels, just because they're working on that side. But it's all okay because the Italians think that these tiny little cones are enough to stop a truck coming over our way, so we feel perfectly safe.
we've stopped at a service station after a few tunnel runs because uh, Tim needed the loop again. And apparently the plate is flapping. As you may remember on the Wesh Me Tour, we had this problem. The plate was flappy, flap, flap. So it looks like, yeah, that's, that's coming off. So we need to try and fix that before we keep going in the tunnels. Another thing, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but the pipes are completely purple now. They've gone from being this color to being that color, but hopefully the tips are gonna start going purple as well. Now it's not light enough for you to see, but the inner rim is going purple already. So it's pretty exciting, really. Uh, all my stuff, check out my bottle setup, is in there, and we're gonna try and fix the plate and then get back on the road. It's pretty dark, um, I think you can see me, I'm lighting up on my phone a bit, but we have just come off the motorway um, for Monaco, finally, we've been driving for about 8 hours, 8 hours and a half today, um, if, I'm so excited, we're not going straight back to my house, we are going, you'll find my side, um, we are going down to Monaco to drop Kyle off and clean the cars first, some of you will know this, it's called Vista Palace, um, really famous hotel next to Monaco, which I passed every day when I went to the gym, so it feels weird being back. And down there, that's Monaco! Wow! It's right there! So, yes, we're gonna go down to Monaco. I'm beyond excited. Exhausted, but excited. Um, drop car off and clean the cars. We're in Monaco! Woo, look! It's home! It's my home! And this is the hotel we're going to, the Fairmont. So we are here finally after a very, very, very long day. Uh, but it feels so nice to be back here, finally. And uh, we're coming back in style, I think. So we've come to the car wash. We've already wet the car, but the problem is <laughs> the soap one is broken. <laughs> Try and reconnect it. <laughs> You're gonna get wet. soaking wet. Oh my God. I can't do this one, it's on. I can't do that one, if you, It would be hilarious. You don't need to shower if you do it. Just, just use this. It's warm. It's nice. <laughs> now hoovering the inside. The outside's been exactly done. Exactly. Very much superior to um... Hoover. The Ferrari's still dirty, but we're not going to do that today. And we're going to film them up and go. Oh, run, run, run. Hey, he's matching. Parked the cars, um, all nice and clean. Going to head over to McDonald's, try and join up with Kyle again, who we dropped off. And then Tim needs to film a quick video and then home. So already car spotting, there's a 650S, a 650S and an AMG GT there. And then plenty of Ferraris at the Ferrari dealership over there. So already back in Monaco and already back in the supercar game. Forgot to vlog in, uh, in McDonald's, I do apologize. So we're back in the car, where, uh, we're parking where I last left you. Um, pretty decent, uh, he's trying to trip me up, Mark. Uh, pretty decent. Well, actually, no, not really. Freaking McDonald's. Um, but Twizzy. <laughs> oh, Twizzy. Yeah, if we play the Twizzy game, we have to punch each other every time we see a Twizzy. Um, where are we going now? Uh, home. Home. I, uh, aren't we going to go film? Uh, we have to go film. Well, we'll I'm figure it out. Either home or going to go film. Back in the cars now. I'm just trying to get out of the tight parking space. But look, there's some cool Bentleys right there, brand new Continental GT um, W12 convertible and a flying spot. I'm just going to head over to a photo shoot location on the port and then home. Arrived at the port then, got the Ferrari here, we're just figuring out where we're going to shoot, but check these boats out. I'll show them to you in a bit more detail in a second, um, but these boats are insane, I'd forgotten how crazy these boats are. Here we go people, back in Monaco. This is the only boat I can show you right now, but there's the FF to give you some sense of perspective. Um, let me try not to fall in the freezing cold water. There are some other boats, and that's Monaco. And we're gonna go up to my house up there. Um, oh yeah, oh, it's got lights under the water. That is so sick. Tim's filming his video, so we all need to be quite quiet. Filming it around the corner. Tim's finished shooting his video, so I'm gonna hop on in. Oh, move, this is his key. I'm putting the key on your seat, Tim. Okay, the technique to get in, I always hold on to the door. One leg in, swing your bum in, and then close the door. Bish, bash, bosh. I'm home. 
home now and you're going to be wondering why it's daytime. Basically, I forgot to end the vlog last night because we came back really late. But I'm back in my house. Uh, this is where you're going to be seeing a bunch of videos. Um, so I just wanted to sign off now, because I hadn't, uh, and say thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, which is today for me. Uh, please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Uh, those switches here are to disengage the controls. So the first one, you disengage the traction control. Oh, yeah.